Yum. Mmm, yummy. Mmm, yummy. Mmm, yummy. Hi darlings, I hope you're all alright and keeping safe and taking care of yourselves. Back for another react and this time we're going to uh, see a movie, a horror. Mm, nice. And uh, it's just, it's dead romantic, isn't it, going to see a horror? There's nothing that says romance like blood and guts. And then I think we're going to the science museum after and there's aquariums and fishes and dinosaurs. So let's get on with it, shall we? Megan is a 2022 horror movie produced by James Wan and Blumhouse. Is Prince Harry in it, darling? It sounds ever so good. Although I'm not a big fan of horror movies, not really. I work with the general public, that's enough horror for me. Although I do like ghosty films. I like to get into the spirit of things. Hello guys, how are you doing? Hello Salo, I'm absolutely fabulous darling, how are you? Or should I call you Tony Monero? You look like you've caught a bit of Saturday night fever there, darling. I hope you've got your boogie shoes on. Hi, King Beezer. The film is about Megan. Is designed it? Designed to be the ultimate toy for any child. I bet I know two families that won't play with her. And one of them's her own. Robot friend with unprecedented artificial intelligence who syncs with their primary user to give them the ultimate personal experience. Lovely! Is the Megan doll like uh, Chucky? You know, that nasty piece of work with the knife. Is she a psychopath? Megan will do anything for their human friend. Listen. Fabulous! Will she lie? Will she manipulate? Will she use all the isms, the phobes, the ists to her own advantage? Fabulous! I like a multitasker in a doll, especially a horror one. And, and even, well, evil things, apparently. <laughs> That's fabulous, that is, darling. Our royal Megan does all that. Mm. Was this film sponsored by Netflix? Have to watch to find out. It's a perfect blend of horror and comedy. And Oh, comedy. Oh, I love, I love a bit of comedy, don't you? I saw that, um, talking about comedy, I did see that Oprah interview myself. That was fabulous. Positively unbelievable in part. It was like that favourite word that uh, you use all the time, foodie. Weird. Oh, amazing view. Fabulous. <laughs> All that stuff, like living stuff, the earth and the... You know what, uh, David Attenborough, are you darling? God says, living stuff, you silly Mary. It's habitats. That's what you have in habitats. We're not talking about the shop habitat. We're talking about, you know, earthy habitats. Water and everything. Oh, those are sharks. Mm. You don't want to go skinny dipping though, darling. You'll end up being on the buffet. <laughs> Hello, guys. Hiya. Hi, guys. We're here in the ecosystem section. Are you done? Is there room for two more organisms? Come, guys, and join us in this journey. Let's go. Uh, excuse me, you bossy Mary, Sergeant Major. Giving you orders. My name's not Sala. God, look, she's got that bloody serial killer look on her mush again. Talk about a Cheshire cat that's got the cream. You've had the whole refrigerator by the looks of it. These are all real plants. Yeah. Mm, real vegetables and all by the looks of it. Well, at least two. I love the natural things. Do you, darling? Does that go for your women as well? Do you like a natural woman? Because you make me feel like a natural woman, Sala. You really do. Especially that winkity wink. It's like a cave here. <laughs> oh, he's Captain Caveman in, darling. Give her his door knocker a knock. Waterfall. Lovely. Water. Going over a rock. I can see you passed your biology GCSE, Sala. You clever bugger. I spy with my little eye something that begins with... Where's Mo translates when you need him? What do you think that uh, owl's thinking? He's thinking, sod off! 
I'm in the middle of a moment here with my wife, you peeping toms. Bugs. There's a couple of cockroaches, I think, darling. There's lighted up uh, fungi, darling. That's what that means, isn't it? Is that like a magic mushroom? We need a druggie, don't we? Ring up Nada and ask him. Ask him, actually, if he uh, wants a few. You could pick him some. He could put them in a nice risotto. Oh, look, Salas must have read our mind. So there's the eyebrow again. What did Nada say, darling? It's a forest and bugs uh, sound. Oh, so you have got uh, DD and Nada's number. Fabulous. Some kind of fruit here. Lovely, darling. You really are like the food pied piper. Just you to find the grub. You'd never starve with her, would you? Hello, sweetie pie. Sweetie pie, more like a fruit flan. Ah, there they are. Look, fabulous. YouTube's latest celebrity couple. Do you think they'll make it up to the stars, like the star duos that there have been? You know, Sonny and Cher, Ike and Tina Turner, Eric and Ernie. Ooh. Ooh. I think he's getting carried away. I will kill you, Chantal. <laughs> no more trips into the desert then, darling. I'd say no for future reference. Listen to the warnings. Listen to the alarm bells ringing, darling. Oh. You're scared. Don't panic, baby. Mm. I'm with you. Yeah. That's a that's a line out of Dexter, isn't it, darling? Ooh, look at that. Imagine though that face bearing down on you. It's enough to push you off your faffa fellas. That you know, they're meaty balls. Do you like the place, baby? Yeah, it's really cool. She's enamoured, aren't you, darling? You can tell. I'm going go down. Mm. Yeah. Nice to go down. To the cave. I'm scared. Oh, cute. I tell you what, darling. If my husband, uh, for how many years is it? I got married in 2006. If he pinched my cheeks like that and called me cute, I think he'd end up in that bloody tank. He'd be swimming like the fishes, like that chap in the Godfather film. And we finished from the aquarium. Yeah. Now to the dinosaur. Oh, lovely. Really? Yeah. A bit disappointing though, darling, because I thought that was the stairway to heaven. Look at him showing up again. I'm enjoying the ride, babe, sorry. <laughs> Lots of that, she's a lazy Mary. <laughs> Is it hard to walk that way? No. Oh. It's nice exercise. <gasps> yeah. Don't be saying that, Sala. You could cause an anaphylactic shock in our foodie. You know she's allergic to that word. Oh. Okay, guys, we have finished. It is closing. We didn't get to see all of the music. Oh, that's a shame. We were told each one would take a half an hour each, but that's not true, especially if you're filming and mm. you're slow like me. <laughs> we might come back for a part two. Oh, I can't wait, darling. I'm teetering on the edge of my seat. Thanks, guys, for watching. And, oh, you're uh, welcome, you darling. Us. Go on, do the See eyebrow again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So that was that then. Apparently, they're going to have another go at this science museum. I can't wait. Can you? I want to see the rest of the Tyrannosaurus Rexes. Osauruses. You know what I mean. I didn't show much of the aquarium or the, the dinosaurs because, you know, well, you want to pop over there and give them a view, don't you? And see all that footage. It was riveting, darling. It really was. I was agog. Well, I was summit anyway. Go my toes, most people would say. Anyway, my babby brought me round, so I'm able to finish off this video. <laughs> he thought I'd gone into a coma. Anyway, 
Until I see you next time, remember, I love you all loads and loads. I really, really do. I'm editing like mad. I've got a live stream to edit. I'm dead excited about that. It looks a bit spicy, I must say. Take care of yourselves. Be good. And if you can't be good, go and find a dinosaur. See you later. Bye. Bye.